Take your time. This is Randy Thompson. Spin around like this. That's right. That's where you're coming in too fast for him at this point in time. Right. So when you feel him spinning, that's where you're going to add your outside rein to keep him from spinning. And that's just, he's not being bad, he's taking you. So make him that's stay. Uh, push him against your left, right rein with your left rein and leg. Keep him against your right rein and leg. That's right. Keep him against the right rein and leg. Good. There. Do you feel how you have a different feeling of the shoulder? That's right. You're riding the shoulders to do this. Take your time because he's going to keep doing weird things at first. Good. Just let him explore. That's okay. it. Yes. Yes. You can feel you're riding the shoulder different. Can you feel it? Which is, of course, the beginning of a shoulder end, which is kind of like the turn on the haunches. That's it. And then when you get to the bottom, you bring his haunches over with, between your reins with your shoulders. Good. And what you'll notice because you have such a good sense of feeling is when he's not turning behind the saddle like when I was leading you. Yeah. Yep, feel it behind the saddle. Is it? Good. If it isn't, you have to bring his shoulder over more. Good. There, you feel it behind the saddle and at first he's going to fall in and out of it a little bit. So you just allow that. If he cuts in too much, just do a straight line away and then you can start it again. Take your time. Bring your right leg forward slightly. Good. Take your time. Are you riding his neck, his shoulders? Everything now, because he's in second level, confirmed, has to be more riding the shoulder because then you're riding the back. Good! Look, you're riding the shoulder every step now, aren't you? He's going to do all kinds of things. It doesn't matter right now. Because I'm it's trying the... to get it with closing my eyes to see if I can get that same. Oh, that's a good idea to close your eyes. Same yes. So whenever you want to, you just do that. When he falls out, just start a straight line and come back to it again. Because there's nothing either of you can do wrong at this point. You're learning how to do the turn around the haunches differently. Good, good. Half halt so he's under your seat. He likes to drop his front end when he does it. Good. Then when, if he loses it, just send him forward and start the other direction. Good. It's just a habit. Remember to take your half halt before you do it. You might have to do it in between. Like you'll feel him drop his back. That's when you put him back together, praise him, and then let him flow. Good. Yep, you feel there. Good, good. That's it. You feel he's picking up his back different now, isn't he? A bit. Yep, it'll just be a little bit at first. Good. He's saying this is hard. It is. It's really a thinking exercise, you can tell, because he has to stay very connected with you. Good. Right front leg should take a longer step. Good. Right front over. Right front over more. Right front over more. There. Right front over more. Right front over more. Good. Good. So you want to keep thinking, can you get his right front leg to cross over more? Or the outside leg. Good. Good. He's tracking up, even though he doesn't have the impulsion we'd like him to have right here, we're happy that he's tracking up. Good. Yep. Yep, half halt. Whenever he drops it, half halt, and then take a step forward. So you're going to do half halt, let him flow a little bit, half halt, because you're not going to ask for it quite as tight as it will end up. Yep. So you're going to think half halt, put them together, let them go forward just a little bit, and then, then bring them over. It happens so fast. Good. Send him forward a little bit because you feel when he gets a little stuck, that's when he needs more forward at this moment in time. Good. And praise him. Good. That's it. I like how you're adding a little bit of forward to this. That's it. That's it. You're keeping him in his neck different. Good. Remember to use your outside thigh to bring his shoulder over. Think outside thigh, outside rein and leg, so it's really more of the outside thigh, which is used in the Spanish riding school. Good. Outside thigh. Push him into your left rein and leg. Good. And you can feel sometimes he doesn't know how to go from your right rein and leg to your left, but that's where he should be right now. This exercise will help him to learn how to stay balanced more evenly between your side aids, your lateral aids. Good, good. 
More forward. Good, that walk. Now the turn around the haunches is in a more collected walk, so it doesn't have to be quite this forward, but you'll get a higher score if he's at least swinging in his hips like this. Yes, if you do it on purpose, that's right. But you know, he may not be able to do that today because it does take time. Right. Good. Keep him more active, more active, more active. Good, he stayed up. Good boy. Good. And I like he's coming out of it and he's tracking up. So as soon as you come out of that turn on the haunches, you get him up into the biggest walks you can where he's over, you know, using his shoulders and hips. Good. You can feel that when he dropped you a little bit. Well, which is, you know, normal. So now you want to think, do a stronger half halt so you make sure he stays underneath of you because he's so smart he'll try to do what he thinks you want to do. Good. Keep him connected with you every step. Oop, see him take you? You felt that one step he took you. So now you want to get to where you can feel every step. He's no longer alone to take you. He has to wait for you if he takes you just halt and start over again or walk forward and start a new one. He has to wait for you. Make him wait. Make him wait. Make him wait. Good, good. Make him wait. Oh, he didn't like that. Good boy. But you know, the first time you do it, he'll be a little offended. Good. He has to wait for you as he's doing these. Good. Have him wait. Good, good. Have him wait. That's good. I like how you're balancing him different with your inside rein and leg so he doesn't fall in. Very good. Does that feel any different? He didn't fall in. I know. <laughs> well, you don't get it until you get it, though. That sounded strange, but that's what it is. And it really gets you to ride the base of the neck and, and his shoulders different. That's right. And at first, his nose might be up or doing all kinds of things, but we're focused on riding his shoulders and the base of his neck right now. Good, good. Good boy. What Susan's noticing is that now he's waiting for her. And as you saw in the beginning, or maybe you didn't, if you go back and watch it, you'll see that Bo's tendency is, because he's so smart, to try to show her what to do by taking her instead of waiting.